What's up guys, Kaiji Zilla 621 here doing another review. Yeah, don't haven't done none of these since wow probably like I don't know one or two months ago, which was a pretty long time, but here I am with another review and today we're doing the X plus 30 centimeter Godzilla Tokyo SOS. So this past December I got my first two X Plus which was this guy and the 62 Godzilla or King Goji. So I don't know which one's better, this one or the other one. I think probably this one. Um, and I am getting my third X Plus which is the GMK Godzilla later, maybe this month or next month. Um, but yeah, this figure is awesome. The, my first ever X Plus and let me tell you, it was so I was so surprised when I saw the detail on this thing. It didn't smell that much as I thought, but at least the detail is really, really good. These things are very worthwhile, people. If you don't have an X Plus, you guys are missing out. So, yeah. Starting off with the box we got here, the Godzilla Tokyo SOS box. Yeah, pretty big. When I first saw it, it was really big as I thought. Um, it is a diamond reissue, so, and it is uh, 2014, basically. Um, really nice box design. I love these box designs for the X Plus. I like how you got, uh, like, it's like a paper, and you can see a, a smaller version of the figure than a big version of the figure. Godzilla roaring in the sky. I like this blue tint they gave to the box around here. I like these little scratches, like the paper is ripped off around the whole box, which is really nice. Got the Godzilla 2014 logo right, uh, here. Yeah. Looking at the side of the box, you don't really have anything, just really cardboard and stuff right here, which is actually in English, which is kind of surprising. Um, yeah, just random crap right there. Um, yeah. And these Expos have a certain way of opening the boxes, you can see here. Like that, and then you open it from the front. And then, voila, you get the figure right there. So yeah, I am liking these box designs, probably my favorite box uh, designs for any Godzilla figure in my collection. But yeah, moving on to the figure, here it is right here. Voila, the Godzilla 2003 suit. Moving on to a little back history, this Godzilla came out in the 2003 film Godzilla Tokyo SOS. Well, this Godzilla came out in this film first, then came out in the 2003 here, Godzilla Tokyo SOS right here. Really nice films. You should definitely watch these two if you don't have it. Really nice films. I watched uh, Godzilla against Mechagodzilla yesterday. Really nice. So yeah, this Godzilla. Um, I mean, he. I don't know what he's based off of. Uh, he more. He looks more like the 2000 suit they use. Uh, like four years before the Tokyo SOS came out. Um, you can see here the spines are a big factor that remind you of the 2000 suit. Um, and yeah. It's really nice suit, definitely one of my favorites. I know it's Metlo's favorite suit. Uh, Metlo, my friend, that's his favorite Godzilla suit right there. But yeah, it's an also uh, one of my favorites. Probably like number four or something like that. But yeah, this Godzilla is really nice. Definitely watch the film. So yeah, let's just get cracking on the detail right now. As you can see, X Plus is known for their fantastic detail. They do really good job with the detail. Really nice, you just can't deny it, uh, x -Plus has the best detail on any Godzilla figure. I know SH Monster has good um, detail, but they're for articulation. This is not for articulation, this is a statue, vinyls of uh, Godzilla statues. But as you can see there, look at the detail on that face. You can see the snout is really nicely done. You can see all the teeth are very nice, individually sculpted. I like how they're looking different ways, back and forth. The tongue is really nicely detailed. Looking at the top side of the mouth, you can see there the gum line, you can see there, really nice. I like how the, you can see the teeth, they're like coming out of the gums from the top. Really nice addition. I like the detail, I like the skin pattern on this Godzilla suit. You got his little ears on the left, you got his eyebrows, his mean looking look. You can see this uh, better view right there. You can see the eyebrows, the ferocious eyes. I like his little cat likes. um... Uh, snarl on his face, I guess you could say. Um, let's try to get a bit of focus. Focus. Look at that picture. That looks really nice. You can see there all the nice detail they added on this Godzilla. Really nice. The eyes are brown right there, as you can see there. 
Um, this Godzilla figure is looking up. He's in a roaring stance, looking at the top. Kind of reminds you of a uh, little scene in Godzilla against Mechagodzilla where he roars and the lightning hits his spines and stuff. So yeah, really nice detail on the face. You can just get a little profile look right there. I like the little spine. He's got uh, like five rows of spines, I think. Yeah, five rows. Really nice. You can see there. I'll get into the scenes later, but you can see a little one right here going around the whole uh, neck. So yeah. Something I really like about this Godzilla suit is the neck. Look at that neck. It just looks like an iguana neck or something like that. It looks really nice. I love these two uh, lines of spines right here. He's got on the sides right here. Really nice. It looks very realistic. Very nice. I, I just really like the pattern on the neck going onto the chest. Um, yeah, just really nice detail on this whole figure. So yeah. As you can see here, he's especially, this Godzilla is especially known for his scar. He didn't change much from his design from the previous movie, but he did have this giant red scar, which I don't, I don't remember if it was colored in the film. I know some of Godzilla Bandai figures have their scar red, or darkish red. Um, but yeah, this one is like uh, the same color as the rest of the skin, just with a little bit of blue highlights on the sides. So yeah, really nice on the on the chest scar. Uh, moving on to the hands, you can see here, really nicely done. I know people a lot of people complain about this giant gap, and I actually have two bad gaps, one right here and one right here. I think I'll have to um, squishy soft this uh, finger right here and make it like that. Um, the other arm is fine; it's not that bad. But you can see here they did really, really nice detail on the hands. Um, let's look at the palms so we can actually see them. You can see them right there, really nice detail. Not too much detail um, under the hand, but really nice basically on the whole arm. You can see their transitions to the different skin patterns. Really nice. And then you get these uh, little tiny spikes on the shoulder areas on both sides. My favorite thing about this Godzilla is the spines. Just look at all the detail they put on these spines. Just really nice overall on every single spike on this Godzilla. You can see here Godzilla has all these little spines right here. Uh, kind of sharp, not too much. Um, but yeah, he has a lot of them on the sides. You can see here he has a bunch right here too. Um, I don't remember him having these in the movie, but they didn't really show it, so I guess they did have it. Um, looking onto the spine, just look at that detail. I love the black and the little dots they added here, making it more realistic. And I like how the black transitions to the white, the bone white on this Godzilla. Really nice. Um, every spine is just greatly detailed, and all the pain is applied carefully. Going down here to the legs, you can see that they're really nice. I like the um, the kneecap, how they, uh, it's not really a, a bad scene, but there's one little scene right here going around the leg. Um, but yeah, this, this leg is really sculpted, really nice. Looks very much like Godzilla. Um, going down to the toenails, let's uh, focus in a little. You can see they did a really nice job with the toenails. Um, they're really nicely painted. I like how it transitions again to the skin, to the nail. Um, and they use very different paint variations to this one. Um, but yeah, really nice sculpting on the feet. You can just see them right here. You got the giant Godzilla toes. You can see them right there. Same on the other foot. This one's a little more back stance. You can see it right there. Going to the tail, you can see there are all the different sections on the tail getting smaller and smaller, spikes getting smaller again. Um, I kind of twisted this to the side just so it fits on this uh, little background I have, but here, it look this is what it looks like, uh, the full thing right here, really nice. Then it just gets smaller and smaller and gets to the tiny tip at the end, which is really nice. I like all the little sections they did on it, so yeah, that's pretty much it for detail. One of the best of X Plus in the 30 centimeter line. 
Moving on to the paint job, the paint job is really nice, very accurate to the screen. Uh, you can see here he has this pink tongue, very pink. Um, not too much like the 68 Godzilla Banda creation. But yeah, really nice. You get this uh, bone yellow for the teeth, like every other Godzilla teeth. Um, what I don't know is that the gums are kind of like bleeding onto the here. I don't know if that's normal, probably, but it kind of kind of bothering, but yeah, not too bad. Really nice paint applications. Um, he's basically got this charcoal black with some tiny hint of, of blue, uh, dark blue on the tips of the every single spine he probably has. Um, and I mean these little spines right here, like these ones right here. Um, yeah. For the eye, you got this black people with the um, brown around it and the white. Um, normal white, and yeah. Basically, this whole figure is just charcoal, um, black, more more uh, dark over here. For the spine, the same white, basically, probably for the eye, like they did for that one too. And then again, like I said, I just love how the black transitions to the white very perfectly. No bl um, paint bleeds on my figure. Um, just really nice, and I just love all these subtle highlights that uh, X Plus does on their figures. Um, I did find uh, some blue in the bottom here. You can kind of see it. Um, I don't know if the light helps, but it is there. You could you could see it if you have the figure in hand. For the nails, you got this very dark yellow, kind of goldish color with some hints of brown in there when it transitions to the skin to the nail. Um, very nice applications. Um, for the chest, he does have the little subtle blue highlights if you kind of see them on here. Um, but yeah, they are noticeable, so yeah. For the bottom nails, uh, they're basically the same color as the uh, hand nails. Uh, you got this uh, same yellow, uh, more yellow on the bottom feet nails for Godzilla. And again, the black transitioning to the yellow is really nice. For some reason, you can't really see it on this camera, but this spine is like more grayish color, which is kind of weird, and it's the only spine that color. You probably won't see it on the cameras because of the lighting, but yeah. And then, after the white, it just gets uh, the same charcoal black as the whole figure, so yeah. Not a lot of paint on this figure. If you want a real, like, painted figure, probably you should get Titanosaurus or something, but that one's really rare. Moving on to the seams, I did cover some of them when I showed the detail, but there is one at the neck, you can see right there. Uh, not too distracting since you'll just have them on your shelf far away, and you stare at them. Um, for the, the arms, I don't see anything, I think I see a tiny little one right here. Um, but yeah, Exos is really good at hiding these scenes, um, that's what they're known for, there's no articulation on these figures. Um, for the leg, uh, there's no scenes. Um, it kind of looks like it, but that's just the skin uh, changing its patterns on the going on the, to the leg. Uh, for the kneecaps, I don't really see. I think this is one uh, right here. You can see it right there going around. Not too distracting. Um, for yeah, but really, there's no more uh, points. I mean, the tail's obvious because you have to insert the tail. But yeah, they're really good, and since it's a section of the tail, it's not too distracting. There's another one right here where it uh, spins, but try not to spin at this part much because it will just crash on this part. There's also a little one right here. You could uh, rotate this part right here. Um, these things are not to rotate people. This is just to position their figures if they don't fit in your shelf or something. But yeah, that's it for the scenes. Going on to size comparison, uh, these 30 centimeter figures are 12 inches tall. So here it is with the other only uh, X Plus I have, which is this 1962 Godzilla. Now as you can see, Godzilla 2003 is a bit smidgen taller, but that's only because he's rowing up. They'll probably be the same size if they're looking eye to eye, straight forward. Uh, this 62 Godzilla is way bigger, more. Um, it has more mass. This Godzilla is kind of a slim Godzilla. Um, but he is pretty long. I think the longer tail is on the 2003, so you gotta have deep shells, okay? So yeah, that's pretty much it for this figure. Moving on to the next size comparison, here we got the 24-inch Godzilla 2014. Yeah, it's the one that roars, so yeah. This, uh, they're pretty much the same size also, um, I mean, maybe you just have to position the head. 
But again, the 2003 is a bit smidgen taller. That's only because um, he's roaring upwards. So yeah. Now, if you can't afford X Plus, you just want to see a size comparison with a common figure that a lot of people have. Uh, here is the NECA 1994 Godzilla. Yeah, he's very small, definitely not accurate. These Godzillas were like the Showa size around 100, no, probably like 50 meters. So yeah, that's correct. So yeah, pretty much it for sizing. Um, if you have more exposed, definitely you can put them next to that one, even the 12-inch Bandai Creation ones. So yeah, overall, I thought this is a figure, this is a really nice figure. Definitely get it if you don't have an X+. Plus. Um, they are expensive and it took me like a year to get this guy, so definitely watch videos of Rich Iso. He does great reviews of the X+. Plus. Some of them are really hilarious. I know, I remember watching some of them. Like, check out his channel. I know GojiFan93 also does some of them. Uh, also O2Zilla and those are the ones I've seen so far for x reviewers. reviews. Um, definitely check them out. Uh, I won't be doing many of x reviews since I don't have, really have any more figures of x only the 62. A really nice figure. I I love this figure a lot. I hope I can get more x in the future. So yeah, pretty much it for the review. This is Kaijuzilla621 signing out.